Hey guys, my name is Andrew. I'm a junior at Georgia College, and today I'm going to be talking with you about the split method. Let's get started. So what is the split method? The split method is a method in the string class, so it requires no importing. It tokenizes a string and returns an array of string objects. It accepts an argument as a delimiter. So here at the bottom we have an example of a split method, str.split parentheses quotation mark space quotation mark parentheses semicolon. So this space is the delimiter. So if you had a sentence and each word was split by a space and you called this method every single word in that sentence would be set in a separate part of an array. So let's say we have the string object with all of the CS Peer Teacher video makers this semester. String CS Peer Teachers equals Andrew, Karen, Josh, Joseph. But we need to split this one string into four separate strings with each person's name in their own string. That is where the split method comes in. Right here we have the example of the split method that we would need to use. String tokens equals CS peer teachers dot split with a space as the delimiter. So this will make each of the names or it will take each of the names and put them into separate strings. So let's try that right now. So first off we're going to need a string called CS peer teachers. And then we're going to set that equal to all of the peer teachers' names. Andrew, Karen, Joseph, Josh. And next up, we're going to want to take that one string and separate, separate it so that each of our names gets in a separate string. So to do that, we're going to first of all make an array called to tokens and we're going to set that equal to our split method so we're going to say CS peer teachers dot split and then in our, for our delimiter, we're going to use a space because that's where we want to separate this string at. Alright, and then just to prove it works, we're going to make a for loop. Um, so this for loop is going to go through four times and it should print out all of our names, but they should be coming from separate strings. So we're going to hit run. and all of our names did print so they are all in separate strings and just to prove that to you I'm going to just print out my name so since my name came first it's going to be in the zero spot on the array so let's compile print and see there there's my name so next up I'm going to show you a visual example at the top we have our string object CS Peer Teachers. In CS Peer Teachers we have Andrew Karen Josh Joseph. We want to split Andrew Karen Josh Joseph up into four separate strings. To do that we're going to use the split method. So we're going to say string tokens, that's a string array, equals CS Peer Teachers dot split. And we're using a space as our delimiter. So this is going to split our names up into four separate strings in the string array, tokens. So token 0 will equal Andrew, tokens 1 will equal Karen, tokens 2 will equal Josh, and tokens 3 will equal Joseph. But this doesn't have to just be a space. If our names were split by commas, as our delimiter we could put a comma. And this would split our names into the tokens the exact same way that the space would, just using a comma as delimiter. The split method can also accept multiple characters as an argument. For example, 
if we get the string Andrew and Joseph and Josh and Karen, we can split it using and as the delimiter. Let's try that. Instead of just having Andrew, Karen, Joseph, Josh in our CS Peer Teacher string, let's add Andrew and Karen and Joseph and Josh. So as our split delimiter, we can put and, and it should take out the ands and just put our names in each of the string tokens. So uh, let's give it a try. Should print out all four of our names. There we go. So you can use strings that are longer than one character as your delimiter. But what if you want to use multiple characters as your delimiter? Well, you can do that too with the split method. Uh, if you need to use different characters as delimiters, you can put your argument in brackets. Here's an example right here. str dot split parentheses, quotation marks, and then put your bracket, and then everything inside of your brackets is going to be counted as a delimiter. So in this example, our at and percent and pound sign would be delimiters. Let's try this an example. So in this example, we're going to say you get an email address, like do not reply at gmail.com so we go, we're going to want to split it at the at sign and at the period so we're going to use brackets inside of our quotation marks and inside of the brackets we're going to put an at sign and a period So this should split our email address up into do not reply, gmail, and com. Let's try that out. So we just ran it and there we go. We got do not reply, gmail, com. So thanks for watching my videos guys. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.